the Amazon River is a beautiful, iconic river and a giver of life. But man, is it the deadliest place on Earth or what? Just about every animal that lives there is more than willing and able to kill you. So from a quirky sounding terror to Dracula's favorite fish, let's dive in and take a look at the 15 deadliest river monsters of the Amazon. <sighs> Number 15. Gooch. Much like the Gruffalo and other sinister storybook beasts, the Gunch is just as terrifying as it sounds, mostly because so little is known about it, but what we do know about this mysterious fish is enough to know that we really shouldn't be underestimating it. Part of the reason that the Gunch is such a mystery is that it's so darn hard to find. But that would really give it a bit, bit more weight, I mean it would probably weigh… Some fishermen have been known to spend months waiting to catch one of these things in its most frequent spots, only to come up empty. But those that have caught one have a story to tell, with some describing it as a raging bull. Apparently this fish is so fierce that it's been known to take on a crocodile without any fear. And given their average size is over 300 pounds, that sounds about right. While most anglers have been unsuccessful in catching the legendary goonch, those who have triumphed are quick to point out how deadly it can be. A 300 pound fish with sharp teeth and a lot of confidence certainly makes for a potentially dangerous experience. I guess the freaky sounding name adds up. You can look forward to my upcoming storybook, How the Goonch Stole Christmas. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Vampire Fish Legend tells, at one time in his life, Dracula attempted to go vegan. That didn't take, so he instead switched to a pescatarian lifestyle. That didn't really work either, but the fish he tried to eat apparently survived and became a vampire. I can't prove it, but that totally definitely happened. And those teeth to slot into those cavities. The Payara fish is also known as the vampire fish, thanks to its unique and, um, toothy appearance. This unique fish's most noticeable feature is those two long fangs, typically used to impale their chosen prey, but they're also built for power and speed. With notoriously aggressive behavior toward their unfortunate victims, be it small fish or the biggest water-dwelling animals. And being solitary animals, they're not even friendly to other animals. In fact, if they're held in captivity with other fish, they'll kill them just about all of the time. Dracula would be proud. Luckily for us, the vampire fish is not out looking for blood or seeking to build an army of creatures of the night. Instead, they're just looking to terrify and kill any species it happens to stumble across. And Dracula would approve of that, wouldn't he? Number 13. Giant Otter Bet you never expected an otter to be lurking in the murky waters of the Amazon River, huh? The giant otter is also one of the world's longest river otters, hence the name. It's also an apex predator in this unique ecosystem, so basically it's not a cuddly little guy. On average, the giant otter can measure anywhere between 3.25 and 4.5 feet long and weigh between 49 and 71 pounds. Naturally, they require a massive amount of food, eating somewhere between 6 and 9 pounds every day. While they mostly tend to eat fish, the giant otter is also known to prey on small anacondas, caimans, crustaceans, and a whole host of other sea creatures. Basically, they'll eat just about anything they can get their hands on, making them one of the deadliest animals lurking in the dark, muddy waters of the Amazon. Chances are you didn't expect the giant otter to even live in the Amazon, let alone be one of the most dangerous predators. But if you need to eat 9 pounds of food every single day, I guess it's inevitable that you'll become a force to be reckoned with, right? Number 12. Bull Shark The more you hear about the Amazon, the more horrifying it sounds, right? Yes, believe it or not, the Amazon River has sharks, and one of the most aggressive sharks in the world too. What a fun time for all those clueless Amazonian animals. While the bull shark may look a little unimpressive and generic compared to some other species, it's most definitely one of the deadlier sharks in the world. In fact, they're known to swim thousands of miles upriver just for the chance of getting a nice bite to eat. 
and I'm sure everybody knows, sharks don't just eat fish. They're also known to eat animals as big as, oh, I don't know, hippos? Maybe that's not so common in the Amazon, but if these animals can eat hippos, it stands to reason that they can eat pretty much anything they want. The bull shark is really not an animal to underestimate, with the strongest bite of any shark in the world, and a willingness to eat everything from fish to other bull sharks, there's absolutely no end to the capabilities of this predator. If you weren't scared of the Amazon before, this will probably do the trick. Number 11. River Stingrays By now, you've probably figured out there are a lot of fearsome animals in the Amazon. So what's one more? The Amazon freshwater stingrays are apparently so frightening that they're one of the most feared animals in all of South America. The whole continent! Like most stingrays, the Amazonian species is most known for its barb-tipped stinger, capable of ripping through flesh in a matter of seconds. But as if having your skin sliced isn't bad enough, these predators also release a whole lot of deadly venom. So in a way, it's like getting killed twice. What a treat for their unsuspecting prey. Thankfully for humans, stingrays only tend to eat crustaceans and small invertebrates, though that doesn't mean they won't attack or injure humans. If you're foolish enough to climb in the river and provoke them, you shouldn't be surprised if they decide to attack. The Amazon River freshwater stingray is feared all over South America, and clearly that fear is justified. These animals have a gift for killing, and you can't take that away from them because they will kill you. Probably twice. And I didn't even think that was possible. Number 10. Giant Leech You don't go to the Amazon expecting to see some curious, small little animals. This is a river notorious for having some of the largest and most horrifying predators in the world. And it more than lives up to its reputation with the Giant Leech. The Amazon Giant Leech is one of the world's largest, capable of growing up to 18 inches. They're also capable of living up to 20 years, which is a thought that will almost definitely keep you awake. Of course, this leech is a blood feeder, which makes sense given its incredibly large teeth. Once it inserts its proboscis into its chosen host, the leech begins sucking out the blood before falling off. Even saying it makes your arms go a little weak, right? Even the animal's discovery in the 1970s came as something of a surprise to scientists who long believed the species was extinct. Well, they used the word believed, but I think we all know what they really mean, hoped. The giant Amazon leech is the kind of nightmare you expect to see in creature features, but I'm sorry to say that this thing is very, very real and very deadly. You don't want to be on the receiving end of this guy. You'll have no blood left. Number 9. Red-Bellied Piranhas Anybody with half a brain knows that any kind of piranha is going to be deadly. But the red-bellied piranha is a whole other level of terror. Well, actually, that depends on who you ask, but I think even the most rational person will tell you to be careful. The red-bellied piranha is in many of South America's lakes and rivers, but they're particularly notorious in the Amazon. These animals are known to hunt in schools of over a hundred piranhas, which is pretty frightening just in itself. Generally, these fish tend to eat other fish or animals like shrimp, worms, or mollusks, but it's not unheard of for them to pursue larger prey. Given that they can grow up to 14 inches long, many locals will tell you stories of human swimmers that got chewed up by a school of hungry piranha. Modern scientists like to downplay the piranha's reputation, claiming that the stories of humans being eaten by piranhas are mostly unverified. But mostly does not mean entirely, and these animals are clearly very deadly. Let this be a lesson to all of you Amazonian swimmers. You're on the menu. Number 8. Paku Remember when people were freaked out about Sonic the Hedgehog having human teeth? Well, if you're one of those people, you're not gonna like this. The Paku is a piranha-like fish that has freakishly human-like teeth. It's, for lack of a better word, weird. On paper, the Paku is nothing to be feared. Sure, it's related to the piranha, but this fish is listed as an omnivore, meaning it's perfectly happy to eat plants. They tend to spend their time chewing on nuts and small animals. So there's nothing to be afraid of, right? 
wrong. In some areas of the world, these fish are known as ball cutters due to their habit of mistaking um, men's genitals for nuts. Yeah, some unfortunate Brazilian swimmers and fishermen lost their nuggets thanks to these things. And those human teeth are fixed to some very crushing jaws. Sorry to make you squirm, guys. While the Paku may not be as aggressive as its meat-eating cousin, they're still pretty notorious for being deadly. I guess what I'm saying is you better have some cojones if you're going to go hunting for the Paku. Just be prepared to come back with less than you once had. Number 7. Electric Eel We all know that water and electricity don't mix, so the idea of an electric fish is just inherently dangerous. Thankfully, there's only one species of electric fish in the world. Unfortunately, it's exactly as dangerous as you'd expect it to be. The electric eel is native to the rivers of South America, including the Amazon. Its body is finely tuned and designed for maximum shock, with all its vital organs found in the body's front 20%. The other 80% is made up of 6,000 cells, all brimming with electrical energy that helps the eel to generate a 600-volt sting. You can imagine how much damage an 8-foot-long electric eel could cause, right? And to answer the question that I know you're asking, yes, they're perfectly capable capable of generating an intense electric shock underwater, and yes, it will hurt as much as you'd think. Generally speaking, electric eels don't tend to attack humans. However, it's not unheard of. There have been reports of humans drowning after suffering a particularly nasty shock from an aggressive electric eel. And no, the eels are never charged for their, for their crimes. Some inappropriate wordplay for you there. I'm sure you're buzzing. I need to stop. Number 6. Black Cayman if there had to be one reason people don't want to go swimming in the Amazon, the black caiman may be it. Often mistaken for a crocodile or an alligator, this giant reptile is the largest predator in the whole Amazon ecosystem. You do not want to mess with this big boy. The black caiman is one of the world's most giant reptiles, often reaching up to 17 feet long and weighing up to 1,000 pounds. But their size doesn't really have a lot to do with why they're so deadly. These animals, much like their alligator brethren, are apex predators. They have no real predators in their natural habitat. While some jaguars and otters have been known to take down the black caiman, these instances are rare and exceptional. Generally speaking, animals aren't smart enough to keep their distance, knowing that the black caiman is entirely fearless. The black caiman, like alligators and crocodiles, tends to just take what it wants. That means if a clueless visitor happens to get too close, they better say goodbye to their foot or their life. Apex predators are like lawyers or judges. They don't play fair, and they have absolutely no sense of humor. I bet the caiman wouldn't even let you finish a knock-knock joke. Number 5. Piraiba Okay, so technically this one is called the Brachyplatystoma, but it's kind of just not fair to me, your friendly neighborhood voiceover artist, to have to keep saying Brachyplatystoma. So instead of Brachyplatystoma, we're going to call it the Paraiba. Anyway, the Brachyplatystoma is so deadly- uh, Paraiba, man. God, I need to remember that. The Paraiba is the largest species of all Amazonian catfish, often known as the freshwater shark. I spent all that time clearing that up that I could have just called it a freshwater shark. Uh, anyway, this catfish is one of the most notorious predators in the Amazon River, one of the most active hunters who will go after just about any living animal it happens to see. And yes, that does include humans. Local fishermen from the area have been known to tell tales of people mysteriously disappearing in catfish territory. I have a feeling they're not going on moonlight walks. While there is a dispute over exactly how big the Paraiba is, we know for a fact that it is big and deadly. The largest recorded Paraiba weighed a whopping 341 pounds, which I think we can all relate to post-Christmas. Number 4. red tail Catfish Usually, if an animal isn't known to attack or feast on humans, that's some um, kind of relief. In the case of the red-tailed catfish, not so much. 
Uh, I mean, it is a little bit of a relief, but I'm not chomping at the bit to go and give this guy a hug, you know? The red-tailed catfish gets its name from being a catfish with a red tail, but you probably already worked that out. They can reach up to 5 feet or more in length, and weigh up to 180 pounds. Sounds... <laughs> making them a popular target for fishermen who just really want to work on their biceps. Generally, these animals are peaceful towards humans, preferring to stay completely motionless in the day and only eat at night. But make no mistake, they are territorial fish. If they are not happy about you moving in their territory, you better expect them to take action. The red-tailed catfish is aggressive and highly predatory, both to other fish and to human aggressors. And if you are new to the world of catfish, they're not like cats. Seriously, you can toss a ball of wool into the water, and they will do nothing. They'll just ignore it. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm still doing it. Number 3. Arapaima Given that it belongs to the bony tongue family of fish, you would expect the arapaima to be a little bit scary? Well, sure enough, they are horrifying animals, but in the world of the Amazon River, horrifying is the new beautiful, or something like that. The arapaima is a streamlined fish that can survive in conditions other species cannot. When the rivers overflow, these fish find themselves in remote areas of the forest, where the low oxygen levels tend to kill other species. The arapaima, however, can breathe air with no problem and can survive up to 24 hours outside of the water. But that's not why it's dangerous. How this 10-foot long fish eats is dangerous. When they open their huge mouths, they create a vacuum, pulling in all nearby food. Their tongues and razor-sharp teeth, as well as the second set of nightmarish teeth on the roof of their palates, shred their prey to pieces within seconds. The arapaima is one of the most deadly animals in the Amazon River, purely based on speed and capability alone. Not only can it rip apart several small fish at once, but it can also survive on land for a whole day. And come on, nobody wants to find a fish with multiple teeth? Absolutely not. Number 2. Green Anaconda You knew it was coming. What kind of list makers would we be if the Amazon's most famous inhabitant wasn't on our list? The green anaconda is a multi-record-breaking predator, recognized as the world's heaviest snake and one of the longest snakes in the world. It's also the star of many, many B-movies of questionable quality. The green anaconda is native to South America, but is most known for its home in the Amazon River. As a non-venomous snake, it kills its prey not by biting, but by constricting. As its slender, scaly body wraps around yours, it tightens until you either suffocate or just die of crushed organs. Either way, it's not going to be a pleasant end for you. These animals aren't even picky about what they eat, dining on everything from fish to jaguars and even the notoriously terrifying caimans. The green anaconda is an animal that has absolutely earned its reputation as one of the most fearsome and deadliest animals in the Amazon River. Just about every animal that encounters it ends up dead and digested. I don't know how much more evidence you need. I can't do the math, but I think it all adds up pretty obviously here. Number 1. Kandiru Despite the adorable name, the kandiru or toothpick fish is far from the cute, cuddly animal you wish it was. Actually, it's one of the most terrifying animals in the Amazon River, a parasitic freshwater fish that is more feared than the piranha. The kandiru is a translucent, eel-shaped fish that feeds on the blood of their prey. Because they're so difficult to see in the water, these parasitic fish find it very easy to discover and latch onto their prey, usually by swimming directly into their gills and sucking on their blood. Of course, the prey dies pretty quickly, and the kandiru head off to their next target. For humans, the experience is no less painful. Smaller specimens are generally known to, um, insert themselves into a human's urethra, the, um, urinary tube. If that happens, you need a medical professional immediately. Although, if you need me to tell you that, you're probably going to experience this kind of thing more than once. It's easy to see why the kandiru is so feared by locals. This parasite can kill just about any fish that it touches, and it can get humans to have surgery on their yuhu. That's the power of a predator. That's the can-do attitude of a kandiru. A kanduru. 
if you will. Ugh, come on, that one was pretty good, that was a home run. Which of these monsters would you most like to avoid? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.